from Free Tree Mahatros. Today I'm going to tell you a story. But before that, let me ask you this. Do you have a pet dog? Good! Now I'm going to tell you a story about a dog. Do you want to hear it? Great! My story is why dogs wag their tails. Why dogs wag their tails? Long, long ago in a village, there lived a rich man who lived in a big house with only a dog and a cat. His wife had died, and his only daughter lived some months away in the city to pursue her studies. The man was very fond of her girl, and once every week used to send a present to her through the dog and the cat. But the dog was very old. It had lost all its teeth and was incapable of fighting. The cat, however, was strong. It was also very cunning. Together, they were a force and could help the other. The cat could use its intelligence to protect itself and the dog, while the dog knew how to find a way as its senses were still powerful. So the man sent them together on errands like this. One day, he wished to send a magic ring to his daughter and who better to carry it to her than his faithful pets. He sent the dog and the cat to take her the ring. He told the cat, Take this magic ring to my daughter. But be sure to take very great care of it. Prudent that you are, see that nobody managed to steal it away from you too. <laughs> the god uttered a specific agreement to his master's words. He told the dog, You should leave the cat to my daughter. Take care not to lose the way and see that no one messes with the cat. The dog nodded. The animals set off immediately, and they traveled for some distance, until they were near a wide and deep river. There was no bridge over this river, or any boat to help them cross over easily. They had to swim across it. Give it a match, please, the dog said to the cat. You are not very good at swimming and may lose the ring, while I am strong and can take good care of it. Oh no! replied the cat. Did you not hear the master say just what each of us had to do? They argued for some time until the dog lost his patience and threatened to kill the cat unless it submitted during in his custody. Cat reluctantly put the ring down from its mouth and the dog picked it up with its lips. Then they began to swim across a river. But the current was very strong and the two animals had to struggle a lot to get themselves over to the other side. After an hour of swimming, they were very tired and weak and decided to rest on a bank for a while. When suddenly, the cat let out a scream and asked the dog in a frightened voice, Where is the ring? I don't see it in the room. The dog was equally shocked I remember that it had opened his mouth now and then to gasp for breath while swimming.